Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can program your own Solana Sniper bot with a rock check functionality. In the previous video I showed you how you can use Solana Token Tracker to find new tokens as fast as possible. Definitely watch that video because this bot is much faster than Dex Screener. And the next step for our sniper bot is to filter those tokens to make sure they are safe and we can at least sell those tokens. For doing that, we use Solana Rock Checker, which I programmed recently. And the last step is to snipe them as fast as possible. This is the workflow of building a sniper bot. Make sure to subscribe the channel and like this video because creating this kind of content really takes time. Also make sure to join my telegram group. I would love to be in touch with all of you guys. Okay, just go to my GitHub page and click on Solana Rock Checker. You can find the link in video description. And now you have to make sure you've already installed node.js. Uh, if you don't, just click on the link and install the LTS version. Uh, also, I suggest you to install Git as well for your PC or Mac. And now we're good to go. Uh, you also need VS Code as well for coding. Uh, after installing that, just open it. In here, uh, open the terminal by clicking on this option. And now we can, uh, you know, git clone the repository. First, let me go on my desktop, uh, you know, cd desktop, because I want to have the repository folder in my desktop. Okay, now in here, just go to the code section. You can actually download the zip file and you know, have the folder and open the folder in VS Code, but I prefer to clone it. Uh, just click on copy, go to VS Code, and in here, git clone and paste the link. This will actually clone the repository. Now, uh, CD uh, Solana Rock Checker, this is our folder name. And now we are actually in the Solana Rock Checker. You can actually see the folder in here as well. Okay, what uh, we should do is to actually install, uh, you know, dependencies and also .env. You can see, just copy the code, npm install, npm install .env and paste it in here. This will actually install all dependencies related to this repository. Okay, everything installed, just click, uh, just uh, type code dot to open different folders and files uh, in the repository. Now we have to add our RPC, just create a new file dot env and paste your RPC in here. Uh, we're using Helios for that. In the previous video, I showed you how you can find these RPC. Make sure to watch that video. Okay, uh, save the file. Now let's take a look at the code. src index.ts. Uh, you know, the code is uh, very similar to token tracker bot, but as you can see in here, we're using rockcheck.xyz API to actually check the rock possibility of different tokens. Uh, you know, rockcheck is a great website. Uh, you can paste the token address in here and check the rock possibility. But we're using the API for this token. In the API documents, you can see the token section. This is what we're actually using in the code. Uh, now let's run it. Uh, if I go to GitHub and uh, copy this code to run the project, just go to terminal again, in here, uh, paste it. It will monitor new Solana tokens on Radium that recently added, and it will give us the rock possibility as well. It found a new token, just copy the signature, go to uh, Solescan, paste it. 
this token created 10 seconds ago actually we were able to find this in less than five seconds because it took me time to copy and paste it in here and it's also uh, checked for rock possibility in here you can see uh, the risk uh, it has a low liquidity this is a warn a danger sign and uh, you know low amount of LP providers not many people provide liquidity for this token uh, another warn you can see uh, it also gives a score to each one of them and it uses uh, rockcheck.xyz uh, uh, to check this data this is actually great okay now let's check other tokens uh, as you can see in here for this token uh, we didn't get any rock check result the reason for that is uh, especially this happens with pump fund tokens uh, rock check is a bit slower than our token tracker our token tracker usually find uh, you know new tokens in less than five seconds but uh, for rock check it usually takes longer to you know give us a report uh, especially for pumped fund tokens uh, we can solve this issue by doing some stuff for example we can uh, you know uh, have a delay between the time that we will give uh, the token to rock check we will ask the report uh, personally I don't want to have a delay for that uh, so I prefer to use uh, multiple API's so if one of them didn't give us a report we can use another one or use another API provider you know this is a simple version of our bot and after we build the full bot we will definitely improve it because uh, we have to improve our RPC and uh, some APIs like rock check uh, but in here everything works well you can see another token uh, you know we can see different information about that this is perfect also everything in here recorded in our data folder just click on data new solana token and you can see in here for example rock check for the token and the result of that uh, we will then use this data for sniping tokens i really hope you found this video helpful make sure to subscribe the channel for a snipe video uh, this is actually a playlist uh, cheers viewers hope to see you in my next videos